Hi everybody, this is Alexandre of Angel Cartomancy and today I'm going to explain how to start a keeper card reading. Now that you've studied the meaning of the keeper cards, it's time for you to use this knowledge in reading the cards. And I'm going to share with you four simple steps to help you create a routine that will help you read your cards perfectly. Step number one, phrasing your question. Like using any oracular system, question is key. The more the, your question is clear and defined, the more the answer will be clear and accurate. If you are actually facing a time of trouble and that you can't focus, the perfect tip is to take a notepad and a pencil and to write your question on paper and use it as the template for your reading. Step number two, shuffling your cards. Whatever method you want to use to shuffle your card is not important. The importance is what you do while you're shuffling. It is best to focus on your question as you're shuffling your card because you're infusing your cards with the energy of your question. Number three, laying down your cards. As a beginner, I actually advise people to start with a simple free card reading okay just pull the cards and put them before you on the table and look at it as a storybook where each card represents a page of a page or a chapter of the book leading to the happy ending to the end of the story for this video let's take an example for a better understanding Julie wants to know, is Isabel a good friend that she can trust on? So we shuffle the cards, we focus on the question, and we start by pulling three cards from the deck. So the card that came up are the cards number 18, the small child, card number 35, a long road, and card 24, the thief. The three cards Keywords combined together with extra attention to the context gives you. Julie should be cautious as Isabel may look innocent like a child, but she had made her way and seems to know where she's heading. And for sure, she will rip away something from Julie. It's also important in Keep a Card to look at direction. There is a video on that which explains the direction in the Keep a Card reading as these can really bring much clear information to the reader. So I hope that this video had helped you a lot. I encourage you to subscribe, to like, and to rate this video. Until next week, take care. Hi YouTube, if you want to watch more of Le Normand videos, please hit the subscription button for more, and I will create more amazing videos for you guys.